want to ask you a very simple question. Do you like changes? Do you like meeting new people or going to different places? Well, beginning of my life as a third culture kid, my answer was definitely no. And what is third culture kid? According to David C. Pollock, third culture kid is often called as TCK, is a person who has spent a significant part of his or her developmental years outside their parents' culture. So third culture kid makes a unique third cultures. And as a third culture kid, my life was always busy moving from places to places. I never had a time to settle in one place. I even envy my friends who get to stay at the same place where they were born, raised, and going to same school with same friends they know for years. Sometimes I thought I never wanted this life. I wanted to be at the side who stay and say goodbye, writing bill like messages and sending hugs and loves, rather than being said goodbyes for countless times. So, um, but now considering myself as a grown-up kid, I want to ask myself, do I really hated my busy moving life? I actually didn't. By constantly moving, I learned change is an investment in yourself. I will talk about the reason why. I was moving due to my father's job. I was born in San Diego, United States, and therefore I have two nationalities. One is Japan and the other is United States. After I was born, I went back to Japan. At the age of five, I went to Saudi Arabia. And in Saudi Arabia, I went to international school where I learned my basic English. At the age of five, I was already considering how to call myself as a Japanese or American living in a foreign country, Saudi Arabia. But that didn't really last for a long time. And we do confront with some, the third culture kid, we do confront with some problems. And for me, the first problem was changing school. I wasn't afraid to go to different countries because I was with my family all the time but changing schools were somewhat challenging for me. I didn't like to be introduced by a teacher as a new student in class because it was like jumping into nowhere where I had to start everything from the very beginning. Generally introducing ourselves, we say our names, hobbies, and maybe when we were small, we used to say our favorite colors. I said pink and purple. By the way, and of course we have to say, where are we from? So this question, this was the trickiest question to answer, because in my mind I had two options. First option was, is this asking the place I was born? Or the second option was, is this asking the most recent place I was before coming here? So answering to the first option, where I was born, that would be United States. However, answering to the second option, that wouldn't be United States, but somewhere else. But that kind of negative feelings didn't last for a long time. Rather than having negative feelings, I started to feel like excitement or maybe relief from the environment I was surrounded at the time. I grew positive emotion towards moving. Also, I even started wanting to move after spending two to three years in the same environment. By moving, I have acquired skill to believe in myself. The skill that changed me every time, no, challenged me every time, no matter where I am, and tells me to keep moving forward. And also, if environment changes, 
people around you will also change. Therefore, you can naturally learn something new and different. That furthermore, if you get interested in many other things, you get to know many people from different backgrounds. Your interest brings a lot of opportunities. So for me, meeting this woman in Saudi Arabia was a great opportunity I had. That also made opportunities to visit the first woman's university in Saudi Arabia and being the first Japanese woman they met. I was honored. Now I get to know many people around the world and they st still trigger my passion to believe, to, sorry, to believe what I really want to be. So changing environment is investing your possibilities, your opportunities in many other places. So our possibilities are all around the world. All the changes and challenges you confront in your life actually moves you to pick up each possibilities of yourself. If you don't take actions, your possibilities, a roof diamond, are forever undiscovered. Also, your possibilities and opportunities beyond imagination will also be yet undiscovered. So, for me, I couldn't imagine myself standing here speaking in front of you all, sharing my idea. I want to tell myself back in 10 years, when I was shy, afraid of changing and moving, that what you are doing right now is an investment in yourself. So changing jobs or taking gap year from schools, maybe that was something unusual before in Japan. However, if you're willing to be out of the environment, willing to try something new, go for it. There are more opportunities waiting for you. And if you feel that is too challenging, maybe waking up early or even having a walk would gradually support you to step out of your comfort zone and take an action in future. Changing was a fear to me. But now I can tell that I truly appreciate all the changes in my life. My busy moving life as a third quarter kid wasn't bad at all. So don't perceive change as negative, but should you rather start thinking positively? Change is an investment in yourself. Thank you.